Let it be. Hey you guys and welcome, welcome back. So I'm getting ready to do my daughter's hair. I was late posting the Veda video from yesterday, but I did just get it posted. I'm actually gonna check the status of it right now. But um, I had did a mini haul for y'all. Yup, it just uploaded. So I had did a mini haul for y'all, but some way I didn't get the um, stuff over to off my phone to get the video on YouTube. So I'm about to break my daughter's hair school and I was explaining to y'all that um because I overslept I was it's well really I'm up early because I was going to work today but I went on ahead and not because we got to get on the road it was an unexpected death in the family so now um I'm going to go ahead and do her hair now because I know when I get back in town, I had to move everybody from Saturday to Sunday, which is my birthday. But that's fine because y'all know as an adult, we have to work on our birthdays. That's fine. So I had did these a while ago because I was going to do her some like singles. So if y'all see me looking at my iPad, I'm actually trying to do a style inspired by a much bigger braider than me on Kaylee and I actually just changed my mind last minute what I'm gonna do for her hair. So this is her bead pattern. I did these beads, this is what we gonna do. I bought these things not knowing they was this big. They some hair clamps as I was gonna put them on her ponytails. We gonna see how that turn out. But I'm about to actually blow dry her hair again cause I had it blow dry. But let me go ahead, put my little band on. I had it blow dry, but it don't poof back up again. I bought these off of Amazon. It was a thousand for three ninety nine. These are Rosanne's. I didn't know you could buy this in the store. I seen another braider that I'm inspired by using. I was gonna order it offline, but I saw it in the store. I don't really know how I'm feeling it though, because it's like a wax, but it's I used it yesterday on a client. And it was so so um I don't even know what client I had. Oh, it was all right. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm setting up my stuff. Should take me about an hour and a half. Then I gotta run over to the schoolhouse since we're gonna be missing, um, we're gonna be missing open house. I gotta go over there and do some paperwork. And then I'll push like three of my clients up to today so I won't be all over the place when we get back. But I did a mini haul for y'all, like a mini little haul. If I can't get it to post y'all, that's okay because most of the stuff was stuff for the road. So what I was going to go ahead and do is just um do a back to school grocery haul. So that's probably what I do and just bump that video because it never came over. I was telling y'all that I was going to start filming from my phone and in September I was going to try to film at least two to three videos every day of the month. I don't know how that's going to go. Don't hold me to it but I'm going to try. I got my clamps on the bottom of my shirt like I always do. And the only part thing I'm missing is her. So I'm about to send for her. And I got me a pack of hair to touch my hair while we're there. I'm going to take y'all with us. Um, I was using uh, Queen Bee Beauty, but when I got out here, a lot of people couldn't find it. And they started bringing me this. And I actually fell in love with this hair. So it's Ruwa. I think it's no more than $5 a pack. I wish I had my little sectional thing because I was going to pre-stretch. Not pre-stretch. I was going to pre, -stretch, pre, -stretch, pre uh, you know, put the hair on my own. Um, Y'all know how you section off the hair, but I need one that stand up, but I don't have it. So, I'm about to go ahead and start. We will see y'all in a little bit. I might not get all of it because I'm trying to go ahead and do it. And then I will see y'all shortly after I blow dry her hair. Alright, you guys. So, so far, let me show y'all what I got. Um, I don't know how clear this is for y'all because I'm right behind this window. But I did actually start on it. I'm going to bring it over here. Because I think that lighting from that window was probably not helping. But, um, is mine? Okay. So, basically, I got that part done. And I'm looking at her while I'm doing it. Um, I didn't really get to film this how I thought I was gonna be, y'all. I gotta get some better equipment as far as in like the um, tripod thing. But for the most part, I'm at this point and I got a busy day. I had to stop to run to the school to fill out the registration. I didn't know you had to do that because he already got approved, my baby. 
So, um, for pre-K, so when I, I didn't know I had to go back over there and do something else. So I went, I had to stop. That put me behind the hour. So I went to go over there to fill out the form. So I'm finishing the top of her hair. I'm gonna add the beads and stuff. I think it's gonna be cute for the most part. And I got that panda stuff. I mean, black, I have a 24 hour hole, black panther stronger than I have Nairobi. And I am kind of slow up here because I'm trying to see what she doing. But yeah, for the most part, I got this going. You went way up there without it? Yeah, I don't got no gas. Uh. Apparently, Meet Me at the Zoo was the most oldest video because it was 18 years ago. Right, so here we are. See? What is it? Meet Me? I never seen that before. That's the world's oldest video. Dang, no one knew what YouTube was 18 years ago. Alright, so here we are on the uh, elephants. Fried chicken is absolute perfection. Don't do anything else to it. Oh. Oh. If it's boneless, I would agree. Oh yeah, Honolulu fried chicken legs. It's gonna be extra crunchy. Oh, you have the loss of phobia. The who? Oh, she has the loss of phobia. And then a couple years, and then a couple years later. Sir. 